Hello everyone, Sunley here and welcome back to another Truly a Bedrock live stream here on Twitch. How are you guys doing today? Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing fantastic. Small Potato, congrats being the very first person here. Zero Cruel, welcome as well. Tigrissa of Gorana, uh, Yeshayo, J Rex, Small Potato again, uh, Emma, Pico Nico, Love Dragon, Roberto, CJ Bot, and Umbras, Chickapla, Muzak, Kula, and... Opening Llama and John the Walrus. Hello, everybody. Dark Chaos as well. Boss Cat. Hello, hello. Now people are showing up. <laughs> How are you guys doing today? Have you done anything fun? Anything fun at all? It is now dark out, and we have a couple of projects that we need to do today. We're going to do a couple things over here because stuff is very, very, very different. We did actually get a skull on the outside of the building, as you can see. <laughs> If you saw the most recent episode of Truly Bedrock, then you'll know what this is. This is the villager trading hall that we set up. Zloy has officially now decorated the thing. He did put a skull on it. It looks really good. I think this is a new skull. I haven't I haven't seen this one from him before. So he can do more than two skulls. He lied. <laughs> but yeah, they, they like built stuff and things. It's looking good. Anyway, I did actually get my player head. You guys know how we got, like, the the head redemption thingy? Yeah, my player head. It exists. Bam, we got that from Wandering Trader as we were building the thingy. So we can mark that off the list. We haven't done many uh, collector heads because it turns out they're actually kind of difficult. <laughs> uh. But also, we can do another one if there's a villager that we can kill. Uh, Yona, Yoda wanted us to get a wolf head. If not, then get a villager head. We can get a villager head. Uh, any villagers that I can kill real, real quick. Oh yeah, by the way, Zloy and Liara are on. Well, technically Zloy just logged off, but Liara is also online. So that's cool. There's, there's like a whole bunch of uh, villager heads in here, but I we probably want to kill our own villager, you know? <laughs> oh, man. Very menacing. Exactly. Pick a fisherman. Any fisherman. Great. Let's go kill ourselves a fisherman. I like the sounds of that. I never liked fishing anyway. Fishing was boring. Name some slime balls. Rick Rollers. Okay. We can do that. Yeah, we got a couple things that we need to name as well. We got a lot of emote only chats that we got to do. We got to do all kinds of stuff. That's a sad iron golem head. Who are you? You're a stonemason. Okay, we're going to find the fisherman because that's what we're here for. So I think these guys are the fisherman farmers. Are you the farmer? You're the max level farmer. Ooh, slime head. Hmm, let's see. Fletchers, right? Yeah, we don't need the Fletchers. Hey, you're a fisherman. You're dead. Take that. Bam. We got ourselves a fisherman head. <laughs> it's so cute. Look at that. Thank you, Yoda, for the redemption. That was 23 days ago that he requested that. Jeez. Time goes quick, doesn't it? <laughs> we also got quite a few other heads. Uh, get a zombie head and name it Prehistoric Sloy. So the zombie heads we actually had, we got to get with zombie... Uh, the zombie heads we have to get with charge creepers because... The vanilla mob heads are still, like, vanilla. If you know what I mean. But yeah, we can do that. We'll, we'll get that eventually. You know you know what happens, right? <laughs> oh. Uh, five emotes is shared. Interesting. So, Erwin Allen, you gifted a sub to Two Eyes Blind. But that also gave emotes to other people. I'm not sure how that works, but thank you for gifting the sub to two eyes. Much appreciated. And also, Amina Cool, welcome back to another stream, and thank you very much for resubscribing for two months. How you doing? How long is the list of mob heads that we need to get? Uh, seven. We need a dragon head, a creeper head, a zoglin, an enderman head, a fox, a brown panda, that's gonna take a while, and then a zombie head. Uh, we can technically name the zombie head, but it's just gonna be like item form because that's like the the vanilla zombie head The the one that you can actually like wear and stuff Anyway, let's get back to the base. We got some stuff to do over there We're gonna go do some stuff and thing uh, We're gonna grab our redstone because we're gonna need that today. We might do some mining and some other resource gathering today and Then otherwise it'll be fun 
help the guys or wanting to hang out and chill for a little while. Tell they didn't pick zombie knowing it would be harder. Bleh, rude, rude. <laughs> Yeah, tree farm and a fungus farm is on my list. Everybody wants it. Everybody's been requesting it. Uh, people have been wanting it for years and years. But, uh, yeah. I'm not a tree farm zombie. F I'm not a tree farm fungus farm person. So, like, it's going to be difficult. What do you think's up with these items? I think they're unclaimed. So, I'm going to take the gunpowder and leave. <laughs> You, for you completely forgot that I live in a tower. How dare you? Rude. Mr. Beardstone, hello. How's it going? Welcome to the stream. Yeah, we live in like a very tall tower. Some people are like, oh, he's still living in a starter base. Still building the starter base. I'll have you know my starter base is like 180 blocks tall. It's not really a starter base. <laughs> it goes up to 126 for the actual build. And then the iron farm takes it up to 170. 169. Nice. <laughs> it's not necessarily a starter base. It's like an intermediate base. <laughs> okay, you want to see a starter base? That is a starter base. <laughs> 169 and a half. Well, you know what? The half counts. Kind of, I guess. Yeah, I'm not going to count the half. It's, it's easier to say. Daphne Elaine joined the server. Hello, hello, Daphne. Uh, let's go ahead and put away the mob heads. So we got ourselves a nice little villager head. Oh yeah, we got a magma cube and a polar bear. Nice, I forgot about those. So adorable. Uh, let's throw out the... Well, no, I guess we'll just craft that into a snow block. And then we can put away some of these other stuff as well. I don't really know why we have any of this, but we have it. So we're going to put it away because we don't need it in our inventory. Anyway, so today we're going to build up the new melon pumpkin farm that I just released on the channel today. If you haven't seen it, what are you doing? Go watch it. But yeah, it's just a pretty simple little basic melon pumpkin farm. Uh, I've been wanting to make one like that for a very long time. And now it finally works on Bedrock Edition because they fixed a couple of bugs and they added a new feature and it just works out great. So I am happy about it. Of course, it's not like the best super ultimate mega farm of doom in the world. But you know what? Whatever. It doesn't need to be. It's a fun farm. And it works good. Uh, let's go ahead and put these things into there. Put away... We'll need the repeaters and stuff. We'll need a fair amount of this, actually. We won't need the sticky pistons. Cool. Oh, yeah. We do need a pig-out trader. We need to go trade with that pig-out because we got a whole bunch of those. Let's go get ourselves some good stuff from that pig-out. Shall we? Build a bat farm. I'm not building a bat farm. Not building a bat farm. <laughs> 170 if you jump. Well, that doesn't count. You gotta jump. That's not how it works. <laughs> Anyway, how many of these pig out traders do we got? I upped it to six per stream. Uh, this one's from Muzak three days ago. Oopsies. Let's see. What are we going to get? We're going to be building a piglin uh, trading system here in the next episode. So uh, when you guys request this, you'll get a lot more for your gold. Hi. <laughs> Uh, so Muzak got himself some crying obsidian sadness. Sadness. King Canoe is getting... What are you doing? Is he stealing my items? I didn't get anything. <laughs> I guess King Canoe doesn't get anything at all. <laughs> get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what are you doing, Sloyd? Jeez. <laughs> I I don't know what King Canoe got. He got nothing. Sorry. That's just like that's just how life goes. <laughs> oh, jeez. I'm crying over my crying of city, and trust me, so am I. Uh, Mario Luigi Luigi with the Nether bricks. Ah. Oh. 
Beluga whales. What you gonna get, Beluga? This kind of takes a while. We got 10 of these to do. What a thief. I know, right? Oh, Ender Pearls. That's not too bad. What you getting, Beluga? Yesterday, you got two netherite hoes from a single stack. Nice. That's pretty good. We got fire charges from Beluga. Uh, Tigrissa. What we gonna get from Tigrissa today? Come on, Tigrissa. Uh, the, the things restock at the beginning of every stream. So if it's sold out, that's it for the stream, basically. More crying obsidian. Sadness. CJ bot. Come on. Give us something good. One of these days, you guys know, we'll get a diamond hell. One of these days. We've done so many of these things. So many of them. Nobody's gotten a diamond hell yet. Obsidian. Uh, Emma for the next one. Oh, no, sorry. This one's from Radioactive. It would be nice if they actually picked up the gold sometimes. It's just occasionally. There we go. <laughs> I wonder how many of these we have actually done. Because surely by now, the chances are in our favor that we might get something helpful. This one is for Emma. And then we got two more after this. Leather. Mm. Come on, Umbras. <laughs> I think uh, I think having a proper system for this is going to be a lot more fun because then we won't have to do it one at a time. You know, it'll be like fully automatic. We'll get tons and tons of things. Uh, let's see. For that one, we got something that stacked with the other ones. I think it was fire charges that we got from Umbras. And then this one is John the Artist. Come on, John. Give us something good. We deserve it. Come on. Ah, oh, fire resistance. That's not too shabby, actually. I'll take the fire res. Nothing wrong with fire res. Okay, so that's a pretty solid little little run for the pigout trader. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. That was uh, a kind of a backup of things because we had uh, pigout trades from the last stream because last stream was the Piglandia launch. So, of course, we didn't do any on that stream. Hey. Bye. <laughs> Name an enchanting table. Diamonds are still useful. Ah, oh. Enchanting tables are terrible. Why would you want me to craft one of those? I actually have not crafted an enchantment table this season. Legitimately have not crafted an enchantment table. Can you believe that? I'm sure you can, because it's not that far-fetched. Nobody uses enchantment tables. Why would you want an enchantment table? Utterly pointless. The worst. The terrible. Don't make an enchantment table. No, no, no. Should get a witch head. Hmm, that could be fun. We'd have to build a witch farm for that. Villager trading is the new enchantment table. Damn straight, it's the new enchantment table. Mm-hmm. You know what's up. You know what's up. Okay, so we got some obsidian. We're going to put that away as well. We got a random button. Don't know where that came from. Don't want it. Uh, then we got some fire res. We're actually going to go ahead and turn these into potions of eight minutes. Because that's a thing that we can do. See, the, the pigo traders are actually pretty helpful. Fire resistance, three and three. Put that in there. Bam, turn it into a couple of eights. Oh, yeah. What device are we using? I'm playing on a PC that I built a couple of years ago. Marcosito, welcome to the stream. How you doing? Thank you very much for the biddies. Uh, also, we got a ton of other things that I need to read off as well. Welcome to the silence, everyone. Thank you ever so much for the follows. Uh, let's see. Taco, Glad Table, uh, Da and Tran, uh, Dragon Claw O, Jang, Perfect. And a bionic, uh, lay duck, crazy, Matt High Bird. I'm not sure how to say your name. <laughs> New secrets, uh, Meninja, Mini Ninja, yeah, something like that. <laughs> and the Zaxion. Thank you all so much for the follows. Welcome to the silence, everyone. Also, Cheesecake and Salmon, thank you for the follows as well. Hope you guys are doing fantastic today and enjoying the streams. 
Uh, depending on how things go, we might break... Mm, we might break 15,000 today. We're like... We're like 80 away. We're 80 followers away from 15,000. It's plausible, depending on how things go. It's a plausible thing. Am I a fan of Doctor Who because of the silence? Uh, yes and no. So the silence was actually just like a coincidence. Um, it's a coincidence that, you know, Doctor Who also has the silence. But I am very much a fan of Doctor Who. It's a great series. If you haven't watched it, watch Doctor Who. Watch all of them. Maybe not the super old black and white ones, but at least watch the new, the new modern series. What do you think those rascally kids are up to down there? They're running around in circles. <laughs> Stay off my lawn. I don't have a lawn because my entire chunk is taken up by a building. <laughs> Oh, I don't think I'll be able to see them from the top of the tower. <laughs> can I see them from up here? Oh, yeah, I can see them from up here. <laughs> oh, it's great. <laughs> <laughs> and they pick it up as well. Thieves! Thieves! How dare they? Oh, this is great. I love it. <laughs> oh, God. People. I'm glad to see other people around the spawn town. This is great. It's lovely. Chicken storm. <laughs> You're having trouble resubscribing with Prime? I'm not entirely sure how to do it because I've never had uh, Twitch Prime. However... It shouldn't be terribly difficult. As long as you have your accounts linked up, then it should should just work. I don't know. Maybe it's too much to assume that it would just work. Uh, before we actually get into building a new farm, we're going to go ahead and move our bubble elevator. So we need to move this one back a block. And that's basically going to be the best thing that we can do. Uh, so the reason why we want to move it back a block is because that's going to give us an extra block of space in the building. Uh, we can't move the entire thing back a block. Like, we can't have this bubble column be right here because that one would then break through this lower wall. See, like, it's flush with this wall right here. But we can move back of this bubble column. So that way we'll have them right next to each other instead of on a diagonal. I think that's going to be so much more convenient. So, the first thing that we need to do for that is go ahead and fill in the bubbles going all the way up. Just remove all of the bubbles. All of the bubbles are gone. Poor bubbles. I still see a lot of bubbles in here, even though there shouldn't be any bubbles. Am I going to make a go farm tutorial? Yes, I have some ideas and some concepts for them. Uh, I'm not going to be using any bugs or anything, because those are just stupid but yeah i got some ideas for how to make my like existing gold farm concepts work really well in the new update i think there's some exceptions and some kind of like exploits ish in the mechanics so that could allow us to uh make gold farms way bigger than you might expect with the radius 44 spawning and despawning so i think we can get away with a lot more than you might expect Destroy the bubbles. Yeah, nobody wants the bubbles. Why is there water right here? Oh, because there's not a glass pane right there. Oh, I see. Okay. That is acceptable. Carry on. Let's grab ourselves some glass panes, because that's what we need for this whole thing. And teach, welcome back to another stream as well. Hope you're doing good. Thank you so much for the bug for the bits. <laughs> I nearly called them bugs. Oh, God. It's clearly too many bugs in my mind. <laughs> Maybe we should start calling them bugs. Can I get rid of this water? I can't. So that means that I can't pick up that water. Can I waterlog that? Mm, no. Can I unwaterlog that? Yes. Can I then waterlog that? There we go. Yeah. Look at that. 
Beautiful. What's better, Bedrock or Java? Both of them are beautiful games, and both of them have a variety of amazing features and amazing things that make them optimal and perfect to different people. And you should play whatever you personally enjoy the most, and whatever you have the most fun playing, and whatever you can get the most enjoyment out of. That's a lot of slimes. I like that. One of these days, we need to switch out those mana blocks with uh, soul campfires, because soul campfires should do like three times more damage than magma blocks, so that would really help out the rates. But campfires on bedrock, including soul campfires, all do the same amount of damage as magma blocks. It's really stupid. Okay, let's go ahead and grab that. Or not. We'll just go get a new one. <laughs> Jeez, that magma block is retiring permanently. It's fine. I have a replacement for it. Not a big deal. Okay, so that's kind of a deep hole. Ouch. Yeah, you can really see how tall the base is when there's no water in it. <laughs> and Teach, thank you so much for gifting us up to Jabolin. Much appreciated. That also sharing a most with people. I'm not sure how that works. That must be a brand new thing. Because it appears that every time someone gives a sub, it's sharing emotes. Which is fun and a good thing. But I don't know why it happens. Curious, but also excited. Who's about to buy a sub? <laughs> well, now you don't got to, because Teach is a fun guy. First time to the stream. Hello! Welcome, Taco Tom. How you doing? Are you even going to do in-busting? Yeah, eventually. Uh, right now the dragon's still alive, but... I mean, surely I won't be alive forever, right? You would think. Somebody on the server's gotta stop being lazy and go kill that dragon. It's not gonna be me, of course, but... <laughs> Somebody. Somebody. Alright, we need, like, concrete and stuff, too. This is actually gonna be a mildly complicated... Ah, uh, our deal. And now it's going to flood that layer. Cool. I'm glad there's nothing around here that's, you know, valuable or could be flooded away. Yeah, no big deal. We should probably focus on grabbing all of the blocks that we need before we, you know, go do things like breaking the whole base. Oh, yeah, no, we do need to do a chest plate. Uh, naming. Now, we do actually have our original chest plate right here, which does not have a name. However, I kind of don't want to name it Eggs. Now, I really should name it Eggs because Eggs was the original one from John DeWallace 24 days ago. However, Pizza Kitten... Oh, wait. Um, no, King Eight. King Tate? King Tate, I think. Uh, he requests that we name a chest plate and never gonna put you on, which I think is actually a great name for our netherite chest plate because we're literally never gonna put this on. So we're gonna name that this one. We'll get another netherite chest plate someday and we'll name it eggs. So yeah, we're definitely like we're 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 never gonna wear this. <laughs> it doesn't even have protection on it. Why does it have an R right there? There's no R's. Uh nope, can't control Z that sadness but yeah we'll get another netherite chest plate we'll name it eggs someday uh never gonna put you on yeah there we go that seems appropriate <laughs> and now ooh, ooh, that's a really nice sound it's like metal we have metal armor on. It's not even diamonds anymore. So yeah, we got never gonna let you drown, never gonna put you on, never gonna pull you down, and pig step. <laughs> uh, oh hey, you got a gifted a, a gifted emote. Nice. You got the frog think. That's the best emote, and you all know it. Let's not forget about naming that ravenger. I might have rejected that one. And he puts it straight on. Well, you know, I, you know, gotta contradict myself, don't you know? <laughs> we need to get protection on that one. Uh, let's see. We have blast protection, protection, and fire protection. Yeah, so we'll probably want another protection four on the chest plate. Anyway, we gotta fall down the base. Wee. Ow.
I guess we'll go ahead and install this pillar of glass panes and then remove the other pillars. I'm just trying to think of, oh wait, no, this is filling in the, the only way to get down. Hmm. I'm not sure the best way to install this. It's gonna be a painful, slow, tedious, annoying, aggravating, insulting process. But I feel like we can overcome these challenges. There's a lot of frog things in the chat. Yeah, 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 that's what I like to see. Frog think is the best thing. If you're not thinking like a frog, are you really living? Maybe this won't be that difficult because bubble columns don't really float to the side that much. <laughs> this is great. Did you know that frogs are actually geniuses? And by thinking like a frog, you can overcome the the biggest obstacles in life. Sometimes you just gotta jump over that stuff. Sometimes you gotta eat it. Sometimes, no, those are basically the only two options. Jump over it or eat it. That'll solve 95% of the problems in life. <laughs> or I guess swim through it. I guess that's another frog option. I don't know, I'm not a frog, so I can't, like, explain the wisdom of the frog. <laughs> also, Tigrissa, thank you for the 100 bitties. Much appreciated. Yeah, achievements don't work on here because of add-ons. That is correct. I just talked to Foxy about that the other day, uh, which is big sad. Much sad. Many sads. Uh, however, there are ways to get around it, but it's kind of a pain in the butt. I might request that we do that someday, though. I like my achievements! Also, I think if you have achievements disabled, it doesn't count, like, your progression and stuff towards your, like, stats. Like, we have our achievement, like, time- <gasps> No! Time played zero hours. What? No, that was at like 5,000 hours. That sucks. <laughs> Maybe that's a bug. I hope it's a bug because that was at like 5,000 hours played. Why am I, why am I right here? This doesn't make any sense. I did not agree to that. You've never heard genuine sad silent noises. Well, that was genuine sad silent noises. <laughs> Clip that, because yeah, it doesn't happen very often. <laughs> yeah, I like my achievements. I uh, there's there's a less optimal term for people that like to get all achievements, but I just like to be called a, a completionist. How are we gonna get out on this level? I didn't think about that. We'll have to put some pressure blades or something. Until then, not worried about it. Gonna rip out these things. Yeah, exactly. The biggest glitch uh, video had 5,000. Well, nearly 5,000. Like 4,900 or something. Maybe we'll restart the game. Maybe that'll fix it. You know how long 5,000 hours is? How long is 5,000 hours? Oh, you know, it's only 208 days. <laughs> and no big deal. No big deal. Well, guess I don't have any hours played. <laughs> Crap. I'm a noob. I'm a noob. I'm a noob. A Bedrock Edition streamer? What? Yeah, we're, we're Bedrock. Actually, if you're looking for Bedrock Edition streamers, you found the perfect place because this is truly a Bedrock. We got like 18 different people on the server. All of us do a pretty much pure Bedrock Edition and a lot of us stream as well. So you can check out the Twitch team. It's twitch.tv slash truly bedrock? No, the, I, I'm not sure the link, but like we have a Twitch team. And that's where you can find links to everybody's streams. We have a lot of good streamers on here. And there is very much goodness. So yeah, if you're looking for Bedrock, you found the best place around. And welcome, welcome. 
Silence of Minecraft noob. Well, I mean, we already knew that, but like, at least now I have an excuse as to why I'm a noob. Because <laughs> I have zero hours played, apparently. Damn it, I don't know why that happened. Do you think they reset my hours? I'm assuming that's a thing that can happen. I would hope that they wouldn't reset my hours. I mean, I did just like get one of the achievements super cheekily in that video. So, I mean, maybe they decided to reset my hours. But that seems really rude. Considering how I should have gotten that achievement anyway. Seems how I'm literally wearing full netherite armor all the time on the server. Sadness. Just wait. Butcher my name! Uh, yeah, I'll get to the name butchers here in a while. Maybe the hours will come back later. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Glad you enjoy the farms and whatnot, Toaster. Always happy to help out with that kind of stuff. Oh, okay, well, that's going to definitely flood things. It's fine. <laughs> Who doesn't like a good flood every now and again? I hear every hundred years is a good time. <laughs> or if you're me, just every couple seconds. Yeah, it's fine. Actually, you know, it's bubble columns. They're not really going to flood that far. It's fine. Hours got reset for everyone. What? Master Chief doesn't like a good flood. <laughs> that's fair. That's that's pretty fair. <laughs> yep. I'm not even like a super Halo person, but I get that one. <laughs> nice. He doesn't like a bad flood, but maybe he would like a good flood. <laughs> nice one. That's good. By the way, Liara is unsupervised in the village of Mesa. Recommended to go see them a bit very soon. Zloy was there earlier as well. Yeah, I was there at the beginning of the stream. They seemed like they knew what they were doing. I trust them. They're, they're probably fine. What's the worst that could happen? What, we bring down the moon or something? That, that's ridiculous. Crazy. Ridiculous. Okay, so this is very awkward to mine. Just saying. Very awkward project. Pro tip, if you want to be a professional, build things right the first time, and then you don't need to go back and fix things painfully later. Generally, a really good idea. But if you can't do that because you are a stupid person, like myself, Enjoy the pain of redoing something that should be done right the first time. <laughs> you know, casual tip. Always here to help. <laughs> can I place those there? No, I can't. Okay, so I gotta break these ones now. And then I can place those there. Right, right, right. And then, boop. Now I gotta break out these ones. Oh. It's really slow when you're standing inside the bubble column as well. All things considered, this isn't going too poorly. I think we're actually doing pretty all right. Besides that minor flood right there. And that pretty major flood. Okay, maybe I spoke too soon. <laughs> How do you link the conduit to the elevator? That's actually a conduit that's over by Liara's area. Uh, that is not our conduit. Uh, that's actually like a down and a pond somewhere, like super far away, and that actually reaches all the way to the top of the base. Conduits have a really, really far range, which I was not aware of until I realized that the conduit reached all the way to the top of my base. And then I was like, wow, conduit's got a far range. Oh, hi, I just fell down through the gap in the panes. Cool. Not too bad. Oh, 
I already talked about this later, but we play Java, or sorry, we play Bedrock because we enjoy it. You should play what you enjoy. It's a video game. It's about enjoyment. Ain't gotta get all political or anything like that. It's just like, play what you want. If you like Java more than Bedrock, then great! Go play that! Shut up and enjoy the video game! <laughs> if you want to play Bedrock over Java, then great! Shut up and play the video game! It'll be great! You'll enjoy it! <laughs> Not very complicated. Not really, shut up. Not like in a rude way, more like the, the fry, shut up and take my money kind of shut up. If you know what I mean. Okay, that's looking pretty good, actually. I like that. I like that we got, like, four bubble columns in here. That gives us a little bit more space in here. That makes it so much easier to walk around in this level. I love it. Now we gotta do that going all the way up the rest of the building. Uh, so, Silent Whisper of an H was taken, so it's Silent Whisper of an H. Yeah. Just saying. That's why. I've had this gamer tag for, like, five years now. Uh, I originally made it when I was playing on Xbox 360, way back when, my first ever gamer tag. So I was just like, hey, Silent Whisperer, sounds cool. Silent Whisperer from H was taken. It's a dead account on Xbox. It doesn't have any, like, anything. It's just like... Yep, nobody uses it. Sadness, sad noises. Could have had an H in my name if somebody didn't take it. Nope. No H for me. That's fine, whatever. <laughs> Don't really like H's anyway. H's are overrated. What do I use to repair my tools? Oh, we got ourselves a guardian farm. Speaking of, we're going to be changing that up pretty soon. Uh, so now we need the panes right here. And we got to get the panes right here. It's a whole lot of pain moving this elevator. If you get what I mean. <laughs> it's almost as painful as that painful pun. And that fall. You still play on Xbox 360 sometimes? It's a really good console. I still love it. Uh, I got mine originally to play Skyrim on. That's like literally the one thing that I wanted to play. Was Skyrim. And I played all of the Skyrim. But yeah, the X360 was so good. It's really fun. And then eventually I got an Xbox One. And then a while after that, I started my channel. And that was great. And now I don't even play on Xbox anymore. Don't even really use it. It's not even plugged in. Where even is my Xbox? It's somewhere. It's, it's somewhere packed up. <laughs> I should probably know where that is. Okay, so how's this going along? Oops, that's going pretty good apparently. Great. At least there's not much up here in the rest of the base to actually like break if we flood something. So that's a nice thing. Nothing to worry about. When it comes to breaking stuff and things. Uh, we can remove these ones as well. I wish there was like a glass cutting tool. A glass cutting tool would be so nice. This is something that I like recommended way back when. But that would like allow you to like instant mine glass. It would allow you to, you to like change the positions of where the glass panes face. It would be so good. What else are we going to put into the base? We are going to be putting a mountain pumpkin farm, hopefully in today's live stream. Uh, that'll probably go right beneath that level right there. Or maybe we'll put that right above the uh, farm down there. Yeah, we might put it above the mob farm, actually. That'd probably be a good idea. And then we're also going to be putting a nether wart farm, possibly a concrete converter, uh, depending on how that goes. Never made one of those before, but it should be fairly simple. Uh, I'm not sure how much space it'll take up as the thing. Oh, this is the top of the base. Great, great, great. The home stretch, peoples. We can stop suffering. <laughs> what does this say? Oh, that's literally nothing. Great. 
Uh, let's go ahead and not, not that, not that. Break those, break that one, break that thing, put that right there. And now we're done. Cool. Well, we're not like completely done. Uh, we got to go ahead and put ice all the way up the entirety of this thing because the whole thing needs to be made out of uh, water sources. That way everything actually works because now bubble columns require water sources to, fun to function. Oops. How did you play in Skyrim? Stormcloaks or Imperials? Always Stormcloaks. Every single time. Don't even know what the Imperial storyline is. I should probably go replay it. <laughs> Never once did I play Imperials. Not a single time. <laughs> and I played a lot of Skyrim. I, I think I probably put like a couple a couple good thousand hours into Skyrim. A bunch of different playthroughs. Use kelp. He kelp did not work for us. We've used kelp a couple times or tried to. It just like did not work. Uh I guess that's all we need for that. Yeah, kelp does not work. Skyrim is one of those games you keep putting off. And well, once you get into it, you'll be playing it for like a long time. So that's probably a good idea. No shame in looking up some guides for it. Are we really out of ice again? Are you kidding me? We run out of ice so much. How have we used so much ice? I swear, we just got like a bunch of it. Oh, no, here it is. Never mind. Never mind. We're good. Just me being crazy. Don't worry about it. I know what I'm doing. What was your favorite Skyrim game? Uh, just Skyrim, straight up. I haven't played any of the other Elder Scrolls. I am looking forward to Elder Scrolls 6, though. That should be really good. I have played a little bit of COD, but it's not really like my main my main deal. Just kind of a fun side thing that I do occasionally. Long live the storm folks. That's right. That is right. Oh, so one thing that's really fun that you can do in Skyrim is there's no cap to like level enchantments or enchantment levels. So if you enchant like some gauntlets with whatever proficiency and enchanting you can make new gauntlets and then you can just get like plus twenty thousand enchantment <laughs> proficiency when wearing those gauntlets and then you can make like gauntlets of potion brewing or smithing so you can easily make like multi-million hit point health point stamina uh strength potions you can, yeah, it's really overpowered. They, they didn't put a level cap. It's so easy to do. You can make potions worth, like, tens of billions of, like, oh, that went all the way down. Oh, that was bad. I knew that was going to happen. And I didn't pick up the, well, that's fine. But, yeah, you can easily make things that are so overpowered in that game. <laughs> God dragon armor is really quite fun to play with. Would recommend. Have I ever played a Fire Emblem game before? No, I don't even really know what those are. I don't think that water actually ruined anything. Do I have Riptide? I don't have Riptide. Uh, did we go through? Yes, we did. Okay, what'd we break? Just a torch. It's not too bad, I guess. Maybe we'll put this torch right there. How about that? Why am I taking damage from you guys? I'm not even standing on you. Or at least I wasn't. Uh, hmm. Yeah, this seems fine. Whatever. We'll just go ahead and patch up the hole. I don't think we're going to worry about the rest of it. 
Now oh, look at that. Is that a water x-ray? Hold on. That's definitely a water x-ray. Strange. You can see our slime blocks over there. I don't know what the rest of that stuff is. That's weird. This game's weird. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> right. We got to put this in right there. Okay, so that should make a bubble column going all the way up to the top of the base, I believe. This is so much more convenient. Oh my god. Did we get bubbles all the way up here? Oh yeah. Look at that. Very nice. Very nice. We even got a bunch of guys dying in there. Sweet. Mob farm isn't even on at the moment. Beautiful. I love everything about it. Cool beans. So, let's see. How much concrete do we have? Not a ton. We should probably go ahead and convert a little bit more real quick. It's just because we're going to need a fair amount of concrete in order to uh, actually, like, build up the mountain pumpkin farm, which is the thing that we're going to do right now. We're also going to put away some of this glass because we don't need that. Okay, so let's get a plan of what we're doing. So, the Mountain Pumpkin Farm is going to be going directly on top of this thing right here. This is the very top of the mob farm. So, this is going to be a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 wide area. It's actually pretty sizable. And then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. It's 9 by 12, so we can fill up this entire area. Going a couple blocks up with a Mountain Pumpkin Farm. And then, that's not going to leave us with a ton left room... A ton of room left in the base, so that'd be great. Also, the real jam and top gamer, thank you very much for the hosts. Much appreciated. And also, we got a ton of new followers as well. Welcome to the silence, everybody. Uh, copy pigs, too many requirements. Uh, J Knights, Fresh P, and Wexion, Plasma. Mon? I'm not sure how to say the rest of your name. <laughs> 2233 uh, Lynx Catching, a Toxic Gold, uh, Lola Kane, Walter, Slart? Slart? Slarty? Slarty Bart. Something like that. <laughs> uh, Loner, It's Royal, Supam, and I believe that's it. Welcome to the silence, everybody. Hope you're doing very fine. Thank you so much for the follows. You're helping us reach 15,000. We're like 53 away now. It's crazy. And yeah, we'll do some name butchering right now. Uh, but we also got a, a pull request. Favorite mom. Favorite mob farm. Creeper, raid, gold, enderman, etc. Ooh, that'll be a fun one. What is your guys' favorite mob farm? Fave mob farm. You guys better not vote gold. Pago's gonna be angry. Uh, general hostile... Ender, Ender, uh, Spawner Farm, Gold Farm, Gold, Gold Farm, and uh, what other kind of farms are there? Drowned Farms? Ra oh yeah, Raid Farm. Raid Farm! Okay, let's start that for a couple of minutes, shall we? I'm cu I'm curious to see. Oh, squid farms. Guardian farms. Yeah, there's, there's not enough options on there. Not enough options at all. <laughs> uh, thank you very much, CJ Bot, for requesting that. Sorry for the delay. Uh, let's see. We got a bunch of names to butcher as well. We're going to go ahead and butcher these. Uh, at least the few that we can butcher. While we're converting a bit of concrete. Multitasking is a good idea. Okay, so let's go ahead and grab two stacks of that, two stacks of that. And four stacks. So that'll be hopefully enough. I would think. You finally have a name for the Wither Slime? Ooh, nice. There's name tags over there. Who's over here messing around the spawn town? I'm watching them. <gasps> Daphne Lane's got an elytra. Fancy. What are you building? Right now, we're preparing to build a mountain pumpkin farm in the base. 
He picked a gold farm just to annoy me. Oof. Hey, uh, quick survey. Do we want 66 or 100 villagers? Um, <laughs> which one do we want? <laughs> uh, hundred, hundred. Everybody's saying hundred. Sixty-nine, of course. Yeah, that seems fair. <laughs> Chat says a hundred. <laughs> oh, Liara is streaming as well, and she's pulling her chat. Okay, fair enough. Well, I'm asking you guys a hundred. Yeah, okay. <laughs> That's beautiful. Great, I love it. Both the two villages. Fair enough. Yeah. yeah. Cool bean. Uh, gold farm won by 62%. Umbros contributed 365 channel points to that. <laughs> uh, raid farm was next with 23%. Spawner farm with 9%. Ender Ender with 3%. General hostile mob with 3%. Wow, you guys really don't like farms. You just all voted for gold farm just to annoy me. <laughs> oh, jeez. You guys are terrible. <laughs> what did I do to deserve this? I swear, what did I do? <laughs> Uh, potato farm for the Irish. Mmm, yes. Jacksepticeye would appreciate. See you later, right? Explode. Thanks for stopping by the stream. Hope you had a good time today. So which gold farm are we making? Uh, We're not making a gold farm right now. We're making a melon pumpkin farm. That's what we're doing. Melons and pumpkins are beautiful things, and you want them. I don't have any water, because of course I don't. Yeah, this is why we need a concrete converter, because, like, this is slow. Uh, that should do just about everything, I think. Cool. Malumpkins, yes. Basically. It's such, like, an annoying kind of, like, video to promote. Because, like, you want to do melon farm. And then you also want to call it a pumpkin farm. But calling it a melon and pumpkin farm is very long. But if you call it a melon slash pumpkin farm, then that might not, like, really convey the point. So I never know how to, like, tag the video. I'm like, uh... I don't know. Melon. I, I do like Minecraft Melon Farm, then Minecraft Pumpkin Farm, then Minecraft Melon and Pumpkin Farm. It's very annoying. <laughs> the tags for things are complicated. I'm not a professional YouTuber. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just doing everything on the fly. You probably realized by now, but maybe you didn't. In which case, sorry to burst the bubble. <laughs> I'm not professional. <laughs> uh, fun for Joe. Thank you very much for the five biddies. Uh, I'll make a gold farm eventually. I got some ideas for it. That was actually originally going to be today's uh, tutorial. However, I didn't have enough time to sink into designing. When will the stream be on YouTube? Uh, I'm going to try and put it on YouTube as quick as I can. But, you know, things happen. Oh, yeah, we need to grab some pressure plates and some signs. I didn't want to do that. <laughs> I just want to make a, a pressure plate. Bam, there we go. <laughs> Reason why we need these is because uh, there is things down here that we cannot access. This layer is completely blocked off. It's great.
Queens, there we go. Now we can walk in there freely. Wah! Oh, right, I was going to butcher names, but I didn't. I forgot. I'm great. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> okay, let's go get some grass, because we need some grass for the build. <laughs> uh, and then we'll butcher names. Do we have any? We have three. That's why we, that's why we don't have any grass. We got Silk Touch, right? We don't have Silk Touch. Ah. That's an issue. Do we have any Silk Touch books? This one's Silk Touch. Surely we have a Silk Touch, right? I guess... So let's go... God, okay, fine. Let's go buy Silk Touch. And then we'll have Silk Touch on the shovel. And it'll be great. And then we'll butcher some names, and then I'll finally be a professional. Yeah, Slackless's base is looking really good. I've seen little bits and bobs over here. Great stuff. We'll get to building our main base uh, probably relatively soon. We don't have a ton to do on the tower. Not even so touch pick. Uh, we do have Silk Touch on our pickaxe, but we don't have a Silk Touch shovel, which is what we want. Okay, so where is this, like... I'm not going to ask. Can we still buy things from here? I'm going to... I think it actually looks cooler now. It's dark. <laughs> Efficiency. Silk Touch! How much are these? One for two diamonds. Hey, cheap, cheap. Nice. Does he have an anvil? Great. We're going to go ahead and break his anvil. Yeah, silk touch mending efficiency five. That's great. I didn't break the anvil. Bam, I broke the anvil. <laughs> uh, how do we get out of here? There we go. <laughs> yeah, I'm not really... I'm not, I'm not going to... Rip, roll, lip... Rip prow? Lip rip something get good. And then a cone. Some tape. I I don't know. Questions. Questions. Uh, there's like some name things in the butchering. That's not how that works. Let's see. What's a good name to butcher? Uh, my name's Mayo. Requested actually my name is Manessa. Yeah. Very nice. I, c I can respect that. I'm assuming it's Manasa? Manace? I'm not sure. <laughs> That's actually how they spell it as well. It's like, actually, actually, my name, my name. That's, that's what they typed. <laughs> Very nice. I like it. You guys got to put like some long, interesting, like weirdly spelt names for maximum butcherage. Oh man, what's up with these lighting glitches? That's not allowed. The base looks really dumb with those lighting glitches. That shouldn't have happened. Also, fun for Joe. Thank you very much for resubscribing for two months. Much appreciated. Can you make a tutorial on a snowball farm? Actually, I think Groova Guy has one of those. Like, legitimately. He's a snowball and snow layer farm. Because, why not? Uh, let's just go ahead and rip out this area right here. And then we'll plant it back in with some dirt. And then we'll be exchanging dirt for grass. How much is that? A couple stacks. Not too bad. It's going to look bad for a little while, but it'll be fine. What are you worried about? I hate snow. Snow is kind of annoying. I didn't grab enough dirt. Hmm. 
You've experienced way too much snow. Oh, like IRL snow? IRL snow is really fun. In moderation. If you gotta, like, deal with it every day, just, like, in standard day-to-day -day life, then it's not really, like, the greatest. But if you're not going anywhere, and you don't want to go anywhere, or if you just, like, like playing in snow, snow is great. Uh, try Zip Zephania. Hmm, Zephania? But you go by Zevin? That is much easier to say. Zephania. I'm not, that's a, that's a pretty cool name. I like it. There's not many people with Z names that, like, just are cool. It's got good names. I like it. Very nice. Good name. I approve. <laughs> it's very unique. Okay, so that one is done. We're gonna go and put some torches on it, of course. Light up the spawn chunks. And his day in. Something like that. Yeah. Well, Zloy, yeah, whatever. Zloy's name doesn't count. That's a made up name. It's not like his real name. Or maybe it is. I don't know. Okay, great. We got, we got the grass. Hmm. We gotta figure out how we wanna do this when it comes to the storage system. I'm thinking we can drop down items right here in this corner. Yes, 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 that'll go right into the storage system. Ah, that'll be beautiful. <laughs> nice. Uh, how do I get out of here? I love this base, it is so convenient. Everything about it is just perfection when it comes to dropping things through corners. Yeah, so we can just send down the drops of the melon and pumpkin farm straight down this corner, like in item form, and then it'll just fall into the water stream. They'll go directly into the multi item sorter, and it'll be beautiful. Nothing else that we need to do because this already comes from the slime farm. Perfection. Absolute perfection. Nice. I approve of that. Pro moves. Uh, you don't need to spam the chat, Evan. But yes, I watch Hermitcraft. Everybody watches Hermitcraft. Hermitcraft is good. Much approved. It's very, very nice. Very nice indeed. We don't have any pains. Oh, there's still, like, holes in the wall up here from, like, <laughs> when that creeper exploded. Do you guys remember that from a couple episodes ago? Creeper exploded up here, blew out the entirety of the, uh, of the, uh, water elevator. Apparently, there's still, like, a sizable hole in the wall. Yeah, that's normal. That's meant to be there. Don't question it. Definitely intended. supposed to be there don't worry about it uh we don't need all those diamonds thank you let's throw those into lava what style do you like to build uh i'm not really like a super builder person but generally i either like ruined builds and lots of randomization and you know terraforming and stuff like that or I go for like nice and clean and symmetrical and modern. So basically complete opposite spectrums. <laughs> um, yeah, that's, that's generally what I do. So if you go back to like Silent Survival, which is, you know, when I did like a whole lot of building, uh, the main base was completely ruined, but then like the Guardian Farm Cyan Sea was like perfect symmetrical modern. What am I looking for? dies so i can make blocks thank you i know what i'm doing it's kind of a sizable hole isn't it two three mm, three four five six seven eight anything else i'm missing <laughs> uh 
Doesn't look like it. Eight blocks out of the wall. We're just missing that entire time. Do I have a regular stream streaming schedule? Yeah, we stream on Saturday, Sunday, Tuesday, and Thursday at 5.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Uh, the best way to get notified and know when we're streaming is just to drop a follow on the channel and, of course, to turn on notifications. That way, you can catch the stream. Also, we got, like, stream regular in the Discord, but that's just, like, a side thing if you feel like it. Oh, look at that. It's not even flooding out. Ha! Huh. Beautiful. Love it. Okay, so now we got to figure out where exactly our minecarts are going to go. Let's grab some rails. I think I put all the stuff into... Yes, in this box. We don't need the activator rails, thank you. We will need the powered rails. We'll need the redstone blocks. And then we'll need blackstone as well. Ooh, not much blackstone. Not much of it at all. It's your first stream of welcome, Maxo. Hope you're doing good today. Have you checked name and item redemptions? Nah, there's so many redemptions I gotta check. <laughs> lots of, uh, lots of everything I gotta do. Alright, so, which way? Did I grab a minecart? I didn't grab a minecart. Okay, well, you know what? Let's, let's make a, a, an area up here. We need a workstation. Bam! We're setting up a workstation. Because my inventory is far too cluttered with all of this junk, and I don't have enough room for any of it. There we go. Okay, let's grab a minecart. And then we'll know what we need to do from there. This is actually a relatively cheap farm. Like, you don't really need that many resources to make it work. I thought I had minecarts around here. Whatever, we'll make a new one. Okay, so there's only two ways to really do this right, and that is to build it on the south side. So that means uh, sunrise, east, north, west, that's going to be south. So if we build the corner right here, the minecart should go to the right. Yes, it does. Beautiful. And then we can also build it on the west side as well, which we might do. So if that's south, this is going to be west. Hmm. Oh, I think I got to do it facing like this. Does that work? Yeah, that works. Okay. <laughs> mm, I guess we will have to do it on the south side because that's where the drop shoot's going to be. Because we got to make the items go down there. Interesting. Oh, right. Yeah, no, we got to fight Liara this stream. We might run out of time, actually. We may run out of time to do the things that we need to. We might change out the design a little bit, uh, just so that we can fit all the stuff that we need while keeping everything simple. Hmm. I guess we could technically break out some of these blocks because that's just going to be the floor. I'm trying to think about how exactly we want to do this. We can go down a block right here. So this could technically be like the floor layer of the farm. Look at that, there's even a water stream right there for the system. Ah, oh, it's beautiful. We can technically drop down things in two corners? What? Beautiful. Yeah, so that's also... <laughs> that's also an elevator. That goes into the middle of the system. That's not entirely where we want it to be. Uh, that goes to, like, the middle slice of the multi-items order. 
uh, which doesn't have the mounds or pumpkins. We wanted to go into the far left slice because that's where mounds and pumpkins will get stored. So yeah, we still want to drop it in right there, basically. Okay, great. So we'll put the redstone and the minecart unloader right here. We'll drop down the items into there. This will be the platform for the farm, meaning that this is going to be the rail level. And then the grass will go up there. Plants. Observers and pistons. Uh, one layer of redstone, two layers of redstone. So it'll go all the way up to there. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. That'll be fine. Hmm. I gotta think about how exactly we're gonna make the system work for the item. Like, dropper system. It's complicated. <laughs> you guys know how it goes. Fitting stuff into this base is not really, like, the most simple, straightforward uh, task in the world. We're working on a mumpkin farm. Yes, Mumpkin Farm is the best. And yeah, the Iron Farm still works, of course. It's been out for like just a couple weeks. Still works great. I know it works because we got one right above us. Okay, so a hopper. Let's grab a couple hoppers. Because we we'll need to turn this into a hopper minecart. Uh, what else do we need? I'm trying to think here. We we'll need a couple redstone torches. Obviously, you need some levers. Hmm. Actual redstone too, probably. Yeah, a little bit of that. Bunch of observers. Luckily, we got all those. We'll need to make more pistons later. Or mel melpkin. Yeah, it's either a mumpkin or a milkin. Not a milkin. A milk. Okay. Mumpkin is way easier to say. Just saying. Mumpkin, way more straightforward. <laughs> oh, we need a comparator as well. Right, right, right. I knew that. Yeah, I was just making sure that you guys were on it. Need to get a comparator for the minecart unloader. Boop. We might actually have to raise it up a block just because of the minecart unloader. So if we have the comparator right there, which would then typically have, you know, the redstone for the unloader right here. And then the hopper would be right there. So how do you get the items from right here to there. That is the question of the day. Well, you could go down, in which case you'd be breaking these blocks and letting light into the mob farm. Okay, you could go to the side, which would be breaking those blocks and letting light into the mob farm. Or you could go to the right and that would be just super ugly and disgusting and you don't want to do that. Uh, or we could bring this up a layer and then we could run the hoppers down a block and then over and have a dropper system right here, which is likely what we'll have to do. So we'll have to move up the entire farm anyway. Which is whatever, fine, jeez. God. Stupid things, being stupid. We'll go ahead and put that. Hmm. This is gonna be complicated, actually. I thought that this would be easy, but maybe it won't be. Where are we gonna put the redstone for a dropper system? I guess if we have a. <laughs> Just trying to figure out item solutions is terrible right now. We we'll have a comparator right there that'll read from this dropper and then that'll activate redstone which will power the tr top of the dropper okay good i'm glad you agree with me <laughs> at this point i'm talking to myself but hey you guys make a good sounding board <laughs> so great that'll be the dropper for the bottom and then Comparator? Where did that get off to? Oh, right. We, we need multiple comparators. You've been building a huge village using the farms inside the buildings? Nice. Nice, nice. 
I like to build smaller, more compact farms for that exact reason. You can hide them away pretty easily. Especially like scalable builds as well. It's very nice. Glad it's working out well for you. Oh, you know what? We'll need to bring this back another block. That way we don't ruin redstone. It needs to go back a block further than that. <laughs> Great, so comparator, that thing, redstone dust. You're going to be able to see a lot of redstone from the outside of this building. It's going to be kind of interesting to see. Hopefully. If it's not interesting, then I'm sorry. I failed you. I've done everything in my power and I have failed you entirely. <laughs> Also, I guess we can start building out of blackstone now. Because, yeah, we're going to have to build up this layer right here. We'll put all those blocks back. We'll have the farm be... From there to there. So basically, it's going to occupy everything within these four corners. Although, yeah, we could actually push it forward a block further. Yeah, we could have it be like this. So it's going to be a reasonably sized melon and pumpkin farm. Or mumpkin farm, if you will. Yeah, reasonable sized mumpkin. Yeah, it's going to make the other TB members jealous of my all-in-one one-chunk tower. It should be really fun, actually. I'm having a great time building up the tower. Polished blackstone is just dark diorite. <gasps> Don't you dare. Speak the truth, right? Like, okay. Got it. Okay, we got to go. We got to go see. Come on. Do we, Is it really? It better not be. Why do I have polished die, right? Oh, I don't want to know. Better not be. I mean, it's not wrong. Yeah. Dang it. You ruined it. Why'd you have to go and do that? <laughs> You're terrible. <laughs> Dang it. Now that's going to go all the way up. <laughs> Man. Why'd you have to do that? Uh, has planting and rows increased rates? Uh, it just makes the melons and pumpkins grow faster, basically. The mumpkins. There's, of course, other ways to do it, but that's the way that I want to do it. So that's the way that we did it. Sadness, man, I'm never gonna get over that. Just black freaking polished diorite. How dare you? <laughs> you shattered my entire reality. That's it, you killed it. My reality is dead. That was it. <laughs> uh. Oh, there's a diorite burner on MCPEDL. That's great. That's beautiful, isn't it? Uh, I'm very good at building. Uh, I think we're just going to fill the middle with, like, uncrafted stuff. Save some time. Do we have any just, like, standard blackstone? Maybe we could use blackstone slabs. Yeah, that'll probably be the best way to do it. Uh, pff, we're gonna have to use redstone blocks in here anyway. It's not even quite worth building up at the moment. I don't think we're gonna need that many rails. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> well, good thing you have your emo die right to be sad with me. Oof. <laughs> Sadness. Sadness intensifies. Uh, hmm. Yeah, we're gonna have to, we're gonna have some redstone blocks visible on the side of the build. Oh, we could hide a redstone block right. Yeah, hide it in the corner where the powered rail can't go. That makes sense. <laughs> Totally. Is that really all the redstone blocks that we grab? We're gonna need a lot more than that. So the rails is pretty basic. I just uh, make them go back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. You can pretty much do the rail line any way that you like. Uh, I'm making mine slightly different from the tutorial simply because we don't really have the space or the like directionality in our favor. So we're, we're doing it the quick and dirty way. It'll be great. Uh, we should probably go get some either jack-o'-lanterns or... Oh no, I guess we have sea lanterns. Yeah, sea lanterns is going to be the best. We'll, we'll use those for the farm as well. Uh, I'm thinking we should light up the bottom of this build. And then maybe that'll help us hide some redstone as well. After you became good at Minecraft, you slowly lost your building skills. Oof. Suffering from success. <laughs> I feel ya. I feel like a lot of people's problems with building is being too self-conscious. So... Like, if you're looking at your build and comparing it to everyone else's build, or thinking about what other people are going to think about your build, then you're probably not going to have a good time building. You're going to take a very long time to build, and you're probably going to be discouraged from building more. And that's kind of my issue. Especially, like, because, you know, it's 270,000 people who watch the channel on YouTube, so mild pressure. <laughs> Uh. Oh, wait, don't be stupid. Rail? Jeez. But, yeah, if you just have fun with it, then... And if you don't worry about what other people are going to think, then you might potentially have a better time. And you might find that you're actually a really good builder. In theory. I don't know anything, though. <laughs> Take it with a grain of salt. Oh, it's uneven! Oh, that's because of that thing, isn't it? Ew. Hello, Fuzzy. Yes, the gardening farm does still work. Uh, all of them should work, actually. I don't think there's been anything that's broken in 116.2 or anything. Are we going to have to have a solid block right there? No, we're not, because we're going to turn this... And make it go into a solid block right there. There we go. That's how we do things. Modern problems, water solutions. And then that'll make it light up with this over here. It'll be great. Actually, it'll go one block further. Crap, never mind. Okay, so then we're going to have our hopper mine cart like that. And then that'll go all the way across the thing. That does actually have enough momentum, doesn't it? Crazy. Uh, so a lot of time goes into the tutorials, like yesterday's, or today's tutorial, uh, that took like 12 straight hours. I already had like the design, the concept, like planned out in my head, but still designing, testing, building it, recording, editing, rendering, and uploading, that took a very long time. Um, and yeah, I was up to like 6.30 in the morning doing all that. So lots and lots and lots and lots of time goes into every single video on the channel is not a small endeavor. Uh, I think more time actually goes into like the other aspects of YouTube than actually playing. Like playing the video game is like not really the main part of the job. <laughs> it's everything else that you gotta do. So many things. 
Hello, very random potato. How you doing? Welcome to the stream. Okay, so that's going very fine there. Great. So let's go ahead and get in the observers. Uh, so dirt, plant, observer goes there, but we got to scaffold up first. Great. Let's get some netherrack. Or we could use slime. Ooh, slime. Oh, we got all the slime. We may as well be using it. Also, there's some things that fell into the system. Now we're going to do a face reveal? Probably not. Highly, highly, very improbable. Improbable. Uh, so what is it? It's dirt, plant, observer facing downwards right here. Maybe I shouldn't have used slime. It's very slow for walking. <laughs> and not what I want there either. Where did I even get that magma block at? I have no idea. Not familiar with where that came from. Uh, Casper, thank you so much for the bits. Much appreciated. Oh, if they're standing on the pistons of the Trident Killer, that means that the Trident Killer is going too fast. Uh, make sure that you put that one repeater in the corner of the Trident Killer. That way they don't ever have a chance to stand on it. very crucial part of the farm that may be easily overlooked. Ravengers are really quite the pain in general. They're, they're, they suck. <laughs> Not a fan of Ravengers. Or Ravagers, I know. There's no N in Ravager, but I'm still going to call them Ravengers because it's funner to say. Ravager. Boring. Ravenger. It's like the Avengers, but ravenging. They're getting revenge for you, like, you know, killing their captain. It makes sense. Okay, you did not need to go down there. So the minecart unloader is actually working, so that's good. Boop. Okay, that is pretty much all of the observers going in place. Cool. Now we get to punch out these things. Yay, fun. Slime is fun. Yeah, you can try using lava to kill them before the trident killer. Uh, with that, you gotta make sure that you do it right. That way, none of the riders get killed by the lava, because then you'll lose totems and emeralds and stuff enchantment books it probably won't be that big of a deal but it uh it could affect the rates ever so slightly so just make sure you optimize the thing if you're going to be killing them that way oh i didn't put any lights in this that's right we we're supposed to do that can we get ourselves a lever levior thank you Oh, that's smart. Yeah. It's funner to say. Yes, funner is a word. I knew someone would pick on me for that. If I can say it, it's a word. Which means that most of the things in the dictionary are not words. <laughs> it's just how it works, okay? This is just the life that we live. That worked out very well. And that's the wrong pickaxe. Cool beans. That's much lighter. Very nice. Uh, 
Uh, so this is fully done. It's not going to be even because the unloader is right there. But what can you do, right? Not worried about it. It'll be fine. <laughs> you thought getting tridents was going to be a pain in 116, but you went to an ocean exploring and you get like seven without even really trying. Yeah, it's not really that big of a deal. Uh, the drop rate of tridents is actually still a lot higher than Java. If you look at the wiki, like it's it's 15%. Uh, or no, I forget already. I just looked at it in the <laughs> trident killer tutorial or the trident farm tutorial. But yeah, it's actually quite a bit higher on Bedrock than it is in Java. It's kind of nice. Okay, let's make ourselves a stack of pistons. Uh, I had a bunch of pistons, but then I used them all on the trading hall. Inventory, open. Sometimes it's just weird inventory opening delay. It's very strange. Just weird lag. Okay, we got cobblestone. We got all of the cobblestone. Great. Bam, more pistons. This is a very slow process because we don't have the inventory room. <laughs> uh, 64 of those. What else are we missing now? I think just more, more cobble. Yes. And now more iron. Do we have iron blocks? We don't. The iron farm is actually working out very well for us. I'm very happy with that little thing. It's just cranking away all the time. It's great. Could not be better. I mean, well, they could be better, obviously. But, like, I couldn't be happier if it... It's very nice. Oh, yeah, we gotta get pumpkin and melon seeds as well. Luckily, I know where a little farm is where we can get some of those. <laughs> oh, that'll be great. Thanks, Dad. Appreciate it. I'm actually making two stacks of pistons. Sue me. Uh, was that everything? No, what are we missing now? We're missing more redstone. Of course we are. Maybe we're missing the, the logs. Okay, great. Now we got all the pistons that we need. <laughs> Took long enough, didn't it? Crafting things with a full inventory generally it does not go that well would not recommend oh hey did we break 15k uh we're 15 away 15 followers away from 15,000 <laughs> nice not too bad you're loving you love turning one potato into a mending book is the best thing ever yeah it's seriously overpowered uh, they probably rounded it up to 15,000 on the profile. Uh, you should be able to find an exact count somewhere. It's not like YouTube where they hide your exact sub count for pointless reasons. I really miss having the exact sub count show on the channel. It was a really uh, just nice thing. You keep an eye on all your competitors. <laughs> okay, great. We got the pistons. Great. Let's go. And also, it's just like, it's nicer for the community as well, because everybody knows exactly when you break a new mile marker. Like, they'll know exactly when you break 300,000, or a million, or a hundred million. It's not like this weird mystery where it's like, oh, they rounded up, so you're not actually there, but you're technically there. It's weird. We only needed like 50 pistons. But we made two stacks. That's fine, whatever. 
It's all good. I mean, I don't know why YouTube really cared about those streams that were just live sub counts. I mean, whatever. More content on the platform. Not an issue. Not a big deal. Okay, so now we need all of the blocks and all the redstone. And now we can just do this from above. Great, so all the observers get redstone dust. And then all of the pistons get the... Uh, blocks on them, basically. Great. Easy peasy. And then we'll, we'll install the full off switch for this one as well. And then we got to figure out how we're going to get the water sources in here and how many of those we need. Okay, there we go. Easy peasy. Redstone's done. <laughs> uh, hmm, how do we want to do the off switch? Oh, you know what? This side right here is actually perfect for the off switch because we can run. Yeah, this is where we got to run the off switch anyway. Perfect. Okay, great. Things are working out great. Uh, we do have, speaking of followers, we have a lot of new followers. So thank you all so much for joining our community. Hope you guys are doing good today. Uh, let's see. What was the last one that I read off? Let's see. We got... Quex Gaming, Cobra Green, Obama, uh, Shani, SM Rising, Bu, Venu, or Vinny Wiper? I'm not sure. Lucy, and Elric, Woofer, Clank, Daddy, Danny Delay, uh, Tom Nook is God. I can, I can appreciate that. <laughs> uh, let's see. Ash, Pandered, Sir Truths, and... Mm, Becky, babe? Something like that. Thank you guys so much for joining the silence. And welcome to the silence. Yeah. I'm very redundant today. But that's good. Redundancies are a good thing. Especially in your redstone. What are we building? We're building a mumpkin farm. Okay, so the guardian farm... I already have a new concept for it. I've had a new concept for a long time. Uh, since, like, before the last tutorial even went out, I had a new concept for a three-way guardian farm. I've talked about this on stream a couple times. Where you have a off, no, no guardian spawning at all, going directly to the nether, like, spawning inside the nether portal, and then trident killer. So it's a three-system a three farm. I just haven't designed it. Uh, I try and space out my tutorials. Hmm. Okay, so the redstone line is going to go right here. And then let's get ourselves... the oh yeah there goes the minecart of course yep bye bye minecart we can what am i looking for i'm looking for the torches that's exactly what i need torches that's gonna go there which is gonna go there which is gonna go there which is then gonna go up which is then gonna go across which is then gonna go over and then that's it that's all there is to it And great. Oh, right. We need to get lights in here. That's what we need to do before anything. Uh, so we'll just go ahead and do lights every other. So bam, bam, bam. Uh, we're using sea lanterns because sea lanterns actually do conduct redstone power, which is very convenient. They're a very odd block on bedrock. They're transparent, but they're not. Because they conduct redstone. <laughs> cool beans.
Uh, the tutorial for the raid farm that's on my channel is pretty much the simplest and easiest one that you're going to get. And it's very much intended to be the simple, the straightforward, the easy to build uh, farm. It's not really, it's not really a complicated thing, if you know what I mean. It's not going to take you 12 hours to build. It's not going to rely on any bugs or glitches or any major exploits to uh, have better rates. It's just like a simple, straightforward farm that'll get the job done, get you a bunch of loot, and be happy noises. <laughs> be happy noises, yes. <laughs> be happy noises. That's a new saying right there. There you go. Quote that later. We're making a mumpkin farm. I should have just put that in the title because now everyone's asking what farm we're making. I guess I should have seen that this coming. <laughs> Okay, so if I unpower that. We might have to move this in a block. Yeah, I think we're going to have to move this whole system in a block. That way, that's a little bit closer. And also, so that this won't mess up this thing. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm not worried about that at the moment. We'll go ahead and do that a little bit later on. Let's go ahead and get the redstone installed at the very least. Uh, let's see. So we got one, two, three, four. I guess it doesn't really matter. Every other one of these is going to be repeaters. Bam. Repeater on four ticks. Bam. Bam. I guess that doesn't need to be there. Oh, you know what? I probably put extra redstone in the tutorial that didn't need to be there. Oopsie. It happens. <laughs> uh, so the idea with the off switch is basically to power every single piston and make it go all the way down. Uh, that way... Hmm. This one might be slightly different than the tutorial one. Schrodinger's redstone signal is both transmitted and not transmitted. Yes. <laughs> You're building a non-outpost raid farm. Oof. How far from the center of the village do I need to cover in leaves? Uh, it depends what you're building. If you're building it up in the air, not really that far. But if you're building it on the ground, all the way. It's all of the leaves. It's yes to all of the leaves. All of the leaves. Uh, just a second. There is peoples here. And I need to ensure that they are not the, the bad peoples. Okay. Security cameras are great. It's the good peoples. Carrying on. <laughs> okay, so let's see. We got that one in place. So we put these things on four ticks, by the way. Because that makes sure that uh, they don't all activate at one time, which could be a little bit laggy. Okay, so there's only three pistons that are wrong. That's not too bad for this being like a custom on the fly build. <laughs> so we need to put another one right there. That should power those ones. And then another one right there. That should power that one, I think. Something like that. Uh, yeah, I think that powered every single piston. Except these ones on the sides. Oh, yeah, those are on the very edges. Okay, so to the, yeah, the two very edges ones will need full repeaters. God. <laughs> let's go get some more... Uh, let's go get some more repeaters, shall we? You haven't seen th his vid, but you got the notification, so you thought it might be that? Yeah, that's what we're building. We're building kind of a smaller custom version of it because we have to with how our base is. <laughs> our base is uh, very much mini cramped. Okay, so repeater there. We're going to put a repeater on this one as well. This powers the redstone down below. I think that's everything. 
Okay, now we get to triple check. Do you guys see anything that's wrong or broken or busted or weird? Why? Why do you have to be like this? Okay, so that one's broken and busted and weird. Fine then. We'll go fix it. <laughs> uh, repeater? That was probably what's needed there. Okay. So you just need a whole lot of repeaters. It's not really an ideal off switch. Uh, but it's about the best you can do, I think. Okay. Beautiful. Let's unturn it off. Look how beautiful that is. Douche, 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 douche. Douche, 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 douche. <laughs> oh, man. Usually my iron farm doesn't work. What is usually the problem? So if you have more villagers than beds, it's not going to work. If you have uh, a villager that can't work, or sorry, 75% of your villagers need to work every day for it to work. Also, iron farms that don't really work at nighttime right now because the villagers gotta work and they don't work at nighttime, which is really stupid. So keep in mind, there's a couple things like that that might just be a little skewy here and there. Uh, but if you got 20 villagers, if all of them are linked properly to their workstations, and you got your 20 beds, or really even 10 villagers and 20 beds, and if you've removed all of the other beds, bells, workstations, and villagers in the area, then you should really be quite fine. Ultimately, you shouldn't have too many issues. Okay, pro tip, a stack of dirt does not last that long. Lag. That's not good. Why would there be lag? Not allowed. Lag is not allowed. You put the iron farm and it runs day and night. Bedrock edition. Bedrock edition. Okay, we need we need subscribe. Where is subscribe at? Subscribe. Subscribe! <laughs> Subscribe, ho! <laughs> it's a great item. I love it so much. Smiling so much. <laughs> okay, this minecart's really annoying, but we can't turn it off unless we do that. Great. Success. Uh, we gotta figure out where we're gonna put the things at. Did I get, like, bounced up from that? That was weird. One, two, three, four, five... Uh, that's gonna do one. That's gonna do all the way to that wall. That's gonna do one, two, three, four, five. Oh, I think we're gonna have to move it a block. We're gonna have to move it this way. That way it covers that whole side. Uh, that's gonna do one, two, three, four. I think we only need two water sources. And then if we move this one right here, that should cover that entire side of the farm, right? Yeah. Three on that side, three on that side, four on that side, four on that side. Great. Okay, yeah, that'll that'll definitely cover everything. And then we can replace those pistons. And I'm just going to put a light emitting, because why not? Can never have too many of those. Cool. Uh, let's go get ourselves some fantastic, lovely, amazing, beautiful seeds. Did you just build this in the video? Yeah, this was today's tutorial. Kind of. Uh, the, the version that we're building right now is not exact. We gotta squish it down and stuff. Oh, wow, you get a lot of seeds from pumpkins. I did not realize. I thought you got one. But I think you get two or four? Let's get four. Eh, okay. Issues. Uh, let's go up here. And then let's go back down. <laughs> and, okay. And back up. There we go. I know what I'm doing. Cool. So, he's got melons, right? Ooh, he might not have melons. <gasps> he doesn't have melons! This is not allowed. <laughs> he can totally just take our sugar cane. That's great. Oh, <laughs> uh, he doesn't have melons. What are we gonna do? Dan? You don't have melons? Oh, man. Come on, Dan. You're failing me. Dan doesn't have melons, guys. 
Does anyone else in Spawn Town have any melons? We just need like a couple melons. Just like a few. I see pumpkins. Hmm, there's gotta be some melons somewhere. I, I swore I saw some melons in Dan's base. Hello, Daphne. <laughs> there's gotta be melons in here somewhere, right? No, that just goes down to that farm that we were just in. Uh, nothing in here. Come on, Dan, where's your melons at? That's a fancy beard, as always. Hmm, something just activated. I don't know. Probably a trap. Not worried about it. <laughs> okay, who else has got melons? Your name is Dan. Ah, well, you've let me down today, Dan. <laughs> you think Tiz Tom's got melons? He, surely he's got some melons. Melons! Just need the occasional melon. Mmm, sugarcane and skeletons. Not what I'm looking for. He's also got a slime, but that's not what I'm looking for either. Uh, Beardstone, I think, has melons. <laughs> I'm just looking for, like, five of the little slices. That's all I need. Well, maybe more than five, but, like, you know how it goes. I swear, I'll replace them later. I just, like, I just need a small loan of some melon slices. Uh, oh, boy, he's got two notch apples? He's just leaving that stuff laying around. Jeez. Dead bushes, trees, bones. Okay. Th there ain't no melons here. He, he don't have... No oh, wait. Unless they're in the bottom part of his base. Sugarcane. Empty void. Yes. Pumpkins. Only pumpkins. Ah, oh, jeez. Oh, here we go. No storage chest. Okay. Where does... Where does they store? Is that it? Ah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it must be this right here. Hey, melons. Cool. We'll bring back these later. Oh, he's got a lot of melons. Look at that. He's the melon man. Cool. How do we get out of here? Bubble column. Make a melon farm? I'm trying to make a melon farm. That's why I need melons. You gotta have melons to make a melon farm. <laughs> gotta have melons to make a melon farm. <laughs> okay, great. <laughs> Successful mission of stealing from our neighbors. <laughs> Let's go ahead and uh, get these things turned into seeds. Dan won't mind. It's not a big deal. Uh, he said I can take stuff before, so I'm taking more stuff now. <laughs> but yeah, I will go put those back later. Uh, let's see. Let's get this in place. Yeah, so this is the part that's going to be annoying. Remind me not to break our subscribe hoe, because that would be very sad and very disappointing. Okay, pumpkin, 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 pumpkin. Melon, 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 melon. Yes, it's borrowing. <laughs> you have melon and pumpkin emotes. That's great. <laughs> nice. Yeah, the Wither Skeleton Farm still works. Still works great. Uh, the Beacon Factories also still work. Okay, so that one was melons, right? Yeah, that one was melons. So this one's going to be pumpkins. Wait, was it melons? Yeah, that one was melons. And that one was pumpkins. Great. So this one's pumpkins. So the next one is melons. Melons. Now it's pumpkins. Oh, I'm doing this wrong, aren't I? Oh, I'm putting them underneath the pistons. Ugh. I 
I put all of them underneath the pistons. <laughs> okay. Well, that was really dumb of me. <laughs> Great. Oh, man. <laughs> well, that was that was a good test run. <laughs> That's really stupid. Can't believe I did that. That's so dumb. The seeds need to go underneath the observers. Jeez, I'm so good. I swear I know what I'm doing. You guys believe me, right? Surely you believe me. Never given you any reason to doubt me. Not once, not never. Did it wrong again? Yeah, no, I'm fixing it. <laughs> Definitely working on fixing it. Okay, so grass goes underneath pistons. Yes, yes it does. Dirt goes underneath these things. And then you till the dirt. We're definitely going to break the hoe at this point. Okay, which one was that? Was that... That was melons. This one's pumpkins. Now it's melons. <laughs> Who thought this would be so difficult? I, small brain. Small brain. Cannot... <laughs> cannot, uh, you know, understand my own, my own thing. <laughs> Wait, which one am I on now? Oh, damn it. Okay, first one is melon, pumpkin, now it's melons. And then the pistons are pushing us around. Maybe that's why I'm so dumb. The pistons have just given me brain injuries. That's That would explain... That would explain a lot of my issues today, wouldn't it? <laughs> uh. Don't break subscribe! I'm not gonna! I'm not gonna! Just gonna get it down to zero durability. It'll be fine. Okay, so now we're back where we should be. So, till you, till you, till you, and you, and you, and you. Okay, so that one was melons. This one, that one's pumpkins. This one's melons. Yes. And now it's time for the pumpkins. I gotta walk myself through this so that I don't forget what I'm doing. <laughs> If you break subscribe, you will unfollow. No, don't unfollow. That would be so sad. Why would you do that? Don't do that. <laughs> Look, it's still got durability, okay? It's still got durability. It'll be fine. I swear to you on my pigman soul, which I may or may not possess, that it'll be fine. Uh, whether or not placing these waters will be fine is another story. Great, let's go get some more water. You'll unsubscribe. <gasps> no! <laughs> it's even worse. I love you, Sam. I'll never unfollow. See, that's that's a true fan. Never unfollow, but you'll unfollow. No! <laughs> unfollowing is fine, but not unfollowing. Come on. If you break subscribe, then you'll sub with Prime right now. Sadness. <laughs> oh. I can't break subscribe. I would never live it down. I would never give it up. I would run around. It would desert me. Okay, which one was this? Because now we're actually getting progress done. So that one was Melons. Uh, the next one's going to be pumpkins. Do I have too much enthusiasm for planting now? <laughs> pumpkins, pumpkins. Pumpkin, pumpkins. Okay, final row. 
we're out of grass. Great. We'll just use some dirt then. Running out of places to jump. Okay, so that one is pumpkins. This one is not pumpkins. Melons. Beautiful. Then we'll jump over to the other side. Quite literally. Okay, there we go. They're all planted. My god, that took like 70 hours. <laughs> Are you proud of me? Are you proud of me? <laughs> I did good, right? I did the thing. It was painful. And you had to hold my hand the entire way, but I did the thing. Oh, man. <laughs> Beautiful. Anyway, let's go and put some glass on this thing. At least we'll have some space to walk in up here. That'll be nice. Oh, man. All right, yeah, we gotta fill in that side as well. And we need to move back of this thing. That's fine though. The small details. So once this thing grows up, it's gonna take like 30 minutes to actually grow. Um, then the farm will be fully functional. We need to install like a little tiny thingy right here, but that's not that big of a deal. Very tiny minor things to tidy up at this point. We have a lot of observers left over. And eventually, we will be able to return to Mr. Beardstone his stolen melons and pumpkins. It should be really good. And yes, we do need to go repair, subscribe. It'll be great. Anyway, I think that's about going to do it for today's live stream. I, I am now officially drained of all emotional, physical, and spiritual energy due to the planting of crops. Because apparently, I'm very bad at this. <laughs> Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching today's stream. I will see you again on the next stream, which will be on Thursday at 5.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Hopefully you guys will be able to catch that one as well. If you are brand new here, then make sure to drop a follow. We did actually break 15,000 followers. That's crazy. Thank you guys so much for the support. 15,000 is like a lot of peoples. So thank you everyone who has followed. Uh, let's see, who was the 15,000th? Uh, we're currently at 15.04, so 1, 2, 3, 4. Uh, Turtle says Moo! I like that name. GG on being our 15th thousandth follower, and welcome to the community. Uh, Gob Huddy is light. Uh, Pepper Pigs is so hot. <laughs> Senor Pinecone and LOLOL. Thank you so much for the follows as well. Welcome to the silence, everybody. Let's see, who do you guys want to raid today? Uh, I should probably see if Liara is still alive. She is! Great, let's go ahead and raid Liara, shall we? She's also playing on the Truly A Bedrock server, having some fun times, doing some cool things. And I will see you guys over there in her stream. As you guys know, with these raids, go ahead and drop a follow on Liara. Say hi to her in her chat. And, you know, just be a kind, cool individual. You'll have a good time over there. I guarantee it. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for watching today's stream. Thank you for all the bits and the subs and the follows. Let's get a raid going. Let's get a host going. And yeah, I'll see you guys over there. Show the awesome love. <laughs> Catch you guys later. Bye. Have a good one.